not be the tidiest trick I've ever performed, even if I can perform it. We're actually, uh, there's five of us, crazy we are. We're on a, a raft on Lake Windermere with two very powerful power boats on each end. Let me introduce the people I've got with me, and forgive me for rocking about. It's windy to here today. On the end there, there's Steve Ansel, a powerboat driver. And, well, we asked him about himself and says, you know, tell us all what you've done and all that. And the shy little fellow that he is <laughs> said, no, talk about her on that end. This, of course, is the lovely Gina Campbell, a superstar of powerboat racing. It says here. And the, <laughs> it's the only and, place it says it. Yeah, and she says, uh, she's told me all about herself because she's not as modest as him. She is, in fact, the uh, holder at the moment of the ladies, uh, what is it? Fastest thing on water. The fastest lady in the world on water. Oh, the fastest lady in the world on water. She's popular than me. And uh, 122 miles an hour. Well, I hope we're not going to do that today. Well, I hope I'm not going to do it. And uh, this, this being very kind to me and sitting down here is a well-known face and voice. This is David Vine sitting down. So you don't want to go on, stand on. See what I mean? Little and large, Dave. <laughs> and uh, you brought a gentleman with you to prove that all is fair and above board. I have indeed, because no. nobody believes me or you. No, so no, I brought right. along Councillor Jim Noble over there, who's the chairman of the South Lake and District Council. Chairman, see the badge? The boss of the lake. The yes. boss of the lake? Yes. yes. You own it? Yes. What little bit of it? What little bit? The bottom bit? Yes, that's right. The water comes free. That's right. Well, I'm going to crack straight on, Councillor, because the winds are blowing up here today. Yes. You've been examining various things already. Uh, just hold that a second while I explain. The council has checked this. You'll just have to take his word for it. Yes. This canvas is actually, it's all stapled together. It's stapled to the base here. It can't come off the table. That's true, isn't it? That's correct. And you've true. done the same thing with this that's canvas. That's right. right. Quite correct. These funny things, I'll give one to David to hold. You've actually examined these. That's right. Yes. They are tubular. They, there's a hole right through, but there's nothing in there. No. Multitudinous clamps hold it together. And there's a little thing on the end of there. If you've been to Egypt, it looks like a symbol of life. An yes. ankh, I yes. think it's called. That's it? right. Ankh, something like yes, that. Yes, that's right. Anyway, that's solid. Nothing moves. No. Right. Solid. Now, there's something else I'd like you to examine for me. Are you all right, Gina? Wet. Wet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to get hold of that? And, uh, yeah, swap hands it, it doesn't matter. Give them a good pull to prove that they are what they seem to be. There's one red rope, I'll just separate them for the people at home. One red rope, one white rope, and I'm going to put them around my neck so you know there's no jiggery-pokery there. I've got some short ropes here as well. I'd like to give them a good pull, yeah. Anything you like, that's the idea. So far, I have to tell you this, they haven't been told what we're going to do. Well, what are we going to do? We are going to thread the ropes through the tube through that way. So if you could just hold that for me. No. Yeah. Uh, point it like that. Yes. I think that would be the best way. And where's the long ends? We've got uh, a long end like this. Otherwise, we found it wouldn't feed through. That's the only reason they've been stiffened. Yes. Say yes, Paul. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll gather them up and we'll try feeding them down. Now, you'll have to hold it absolutely vertical. And we'll try and feed it through as best I can. Can you? Can you? That's through. That's there? right. Just slowly pull it through as best you can. That's it. Just slow. Whoop. But a red one is a little bit longer, I think. That's, that's right. it. Or something like that. That's it. That's it. Can I turn it side? I want the people at home to see this. If I feed them through, I'll hold it like this so you can see I'm not cheating. There we are. That's. I think that's about the best I can do on this rocky boat. That all right? That's fine. Yeah, it's about it. That's and I'm good. just going to put that there for now. Blowing up, isn't it? No, it's not off. <laughs> You'll have to do the same with right. yours. Where's the long ends on these? Right. Now, you hold it steady for me. There we go. Now, let's see if we can get it to go right through. Wind's blowing the other ropes in the way. That's why, David. You hold those back for me. There we are. Wiggle it. It's your fault. You're not I holding know. it straight up. I know. There we are. Let's try that. There's one. There's, there's the other. Right. right. Good on you. Now, if I can just hold that, good on you, sound like an Australian, like this, so the people can see, I hope, when you pull on this end, woo, the other end should go in. That's it. Oh, thanks, Dave. Good. Right, now we've got everything set up. Why are these in this funny shape? Now we come to the exciting bit. Well, for them, they're going to get off in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down a little bit to one side. You'll see why in a minute. And I'm going to try to get a foot between, I'd probably be better with my shoes off. I'm sure we're doing tricks one time only. 
you're never quite sure how things are going to go on the day. Now, if I sit like that, and just a minute, Councillor, can I? Yeah. No, you want one each side of my foot, yeah. like that. And if you could just tie that on the outside, David will do the same on that side, but you can check it in a minute. And just pull it really tight. Right. It does, yeah, tight. Serious? Yes, yes. I'm wearing orange socks so they can't see my feet going blue. Sheep <laughs> shanks and everything. Yeah, yeah. No, sheep shanks, anything you like. As tight as you like. As many. Oh, you've tied quite a few, haven't you? <laughs> Well, I upset somebody in window it. <laughs> now, would you like to look at the one that David did, just to make sure that they're tight as well? Good knots, yes? You can tie another one on top if you want. Put one for the Oh, you do? Oh, thanks, friend. <laughs> right, now this one... Oh, up she goes. This one fits over that, like this. And the idea is, if you'll notice, on the ends, there, on the end, those hoop things, wow. Can you just tie that on there, Council? Not yet, David, because I've got to hold it myself. That's it. Oh, heck. He's trying to tighten that up. Right. <laughs> OK. And can I get the hand in there? Right. And... Oh, a few more knots, Council. Oh, now it's blowing up. It's starting to rain as well. This is getting worse. You can tell we haven't done this before. No, what worries <laughs> me is the ropes my trick. Now, I'm going to have to ask you both. Oh, heck. I'm going to have to ask you both to leave the raft. We're delighted. Yes, so you can do that for me. Right, good uh, luck. We'll bring a boat in. It's the easiest way for you. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. This way, please, sir. This way. Sorry. Well, OK. Now what's going to happen is we've got them off the raft. Can you two guys help me swing round here? Nice and easy, steady. The ends of these pipes are a little painful. And if I could help you at all, would you, can you strap me in? Now what you have to do is you pull them over. These are the canvas things the councillor examined. And you tie, them, tie the braids together as tightly as you can. Once you've got them tight, all right, just yeah, okay. Is that tight enough? That's okay, go for it. Okay. Now put the cover over the top of me. Alright. Um, and now I'm gonna have to hand over to David Vine. Thank you, Paul. Well the cover now going over Paul Daniels is rope, he's strapped. He's webbed in securely onto that framework, and in a moment or two, the two big power boats with twin 175 horsepower Mercury engines are going to leap away from this pontoon. They do naught to 60 in four seconds. The ropes will be attached to the box and the framework. The driver is getting in. Only one thing can happen now. The boats will move, the ropes won't break, and Paul Daniels has to get out. Has to get out of this as the power boats will leap away down the lake. Stand by, driver.